for absolutely free by signing in with your Twitch. And we're going to show you the reason why these two players stepping up to the plate. Brett, with that link, a, a player that has uh, slowly and steadily been going to more and more uh, since I, I know he actually moved out to Hoboken, so he's just yep. had a lot more accessibility to go to locals, and you can really see the improvement come out from that. Meanwhile, Finest Spoon, uh, unfamiliar to me, but when you're playing a plant, you got to know what you're doing because plants not exactly the most dominant of characters, but if you find where plants good, then oh boy, are they pretty good. And it starts with that move. That neutral B Fatui is a heck of a monster. I was at where you're seeing an unfamiliar character and and and, uh, and player in the in the in the local today because guess what? I, if you come in here playing plant, I know you know what you're doing something devious. Absolutely, you have something up your sleeve that I know is going to absolutely wreck the competition. But right now, again, Brett, we've seen so many times has definitely improved since the first time I've, I've seen him here, and I, I love the improvement already. He's in a pretty good lead. Uh, with only 40% on to his name and finding a spoon kind of has been a little bit more uh, a little more active and having to approach a little more often in order to get the kills that he wants. Beautiful. It's what he needed. And all he needs to do kind of use a... Uh... Oh no. Plant's oh corner pressure God. is just so astronomically better than everywhere else, but Finest Spoon looks like they were pressing buttons a little bit too early out of shield, looking for a nair or perhaps a grab, mm -hmm. and Brett pulled the trigger on that up to you just as quickly. Having a little bomb right now, gonna use a poison cloud again, getting a little spike ball going out, but Brett's gonna avoid all of that shenan all the shenanigans, go a little bit up, and deal his own, uh, his own amount of damage going on over here. Again, him having a great lead at the moment, a max rage, and that back up throw, not gonna kill. Yeah, not enough wow. rage in order to close <laughs> that out on PS2, which is a little bit of a higher ceiling compared to uh, the location of the stage. Going for that grab is Brett, but not finding it. 176 now, and this boomerang has been a thorn in Finest Boon's side with the up air on the platform. Yeah, really baiting out Brent when they're in this corner. It's been a rough road for Brent getting back to stage sometimes, but if your survivability is on point, you could take a lot of that punishment. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, I, just uh, time for this right now. I, 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 I understand what he was looking for, and you can still wrap it up when he comes with Link, just having those flexibility, having that flexibility and things like return boomerang as well as up the oh, end wow. those bombs yep. remotely detonated. Gotta pay attention to the timing on that one. It's not even just the timing, it's just that he can activate whenever he feels oh, like yeah. it, which is so scary compared to the other Links who whose bombs are usually timed. So he definitely had to be very, very wary of the time uh, bombs for Breath of Wild Link. Uh, Breath of Wild Link. The big link. The big, the, the, the good, the, the big link. Yeah, the largest link the around. Good boy. I like how Brett has been using a lot of Link's jab, just mm -hmm. like the jab one two. It's not as ridiculous as Young Link's, but that extra frame really makes a difference when, for uh, Link's just standard jab. It covers a lot and is allows Link to find more true punishes out of uh, parrying safer moves. Mm -hmm. Which, if you're able to bounce off wow. some of these patuis or get by the down B, then. Sometimes all you get is a little jab, which can lead into a spot like this. This corner pressure coming in, clutch with all these nares. Brett really showing off the fact that Link's nair is quite the big thing to mess with. And speaking of big things to mess with, oh boy, that up smash also freshly uh, that freshly up buffed. Smash. That up smash. Yeah, that up smash. That up smash. True. Definitely got a few times. A very honestly one of Link's more scary moves in my opinion, just because you never like you can shoot the first one. And then you forget that there's two other hits after that. So, definitely you always be careful with that, especially on a, a place like a platform, a stage like PS2, where the platforms uh, are close enough where he can actually do the up smash on the platform. So, it was, I think what happened earlier in a, 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 in a I think, second stock. So, great play by Brett and Finest Spoon. And switching to Lucina versus Link. I can't hit it. I mean, with Plant, you kind of are playing a slow but heavy character that can get boxed out very effectively by both disjoints and items. Now, you switch that up entirely to get a disjoint of your own, but you're a little bit floatier, which... Is that trade-off going to be worth it? On a stage like Battlefield, it very well might be. Yeah, I agree, but right now, I honestly... Switching to Battlefield, pretty good stage for Lucina. But also for Link, so I think it's a pretty neutral stage for both characters at the moment. And oh, but you know, it's not <laughs> that, that F2, that's crazy. That, that's, a, that's a goner for sure. Falling into the 
F smash one two on this corner. I just call it F tilt because Heroes F tilt looks like that. Oh, that's my bad. F smash for Link. Yeah. Link offers a little bit mm -hmm. more meat. He puts that shield Definitely. on his back and, and just hawks that sword forward. He's destroyed. He's like, hey, boom, boom, one two, you're gone. I'm taking your first dog, and I'm a land forty five percent. It's the the difference between a lot of characters who was uh, altering altering a lot of their tools, and you get to see what they're useful for. Oh, as no. this jump will get by. Sp I was surprised that the he, that the um, ledge hopping didn't really work in that moment because of the invisibility off, off the ledge. And also, good job on finding a spoon for timing that upbeat in order for him not to get uh, exploded by the time by, by the bomb. Speaking of upbeat, there's that dolphin slash yet again. I love Spina Spoon being patient, like they're not pressing a whole lot of buttons in these scramble situations, very willing to hold shield and wait things out, they're walking a lot especially, but it feels like Brent is just overwhelming them with raw tempo instead of, uh, and allow, since Spina Spoon is allowing them to get in their face and press all those buttons unabated. Yeah, right now, honestly, I think also a good part of like a quick thing to note is Brett's use of his resources, the boomerang and both the bomb, kind of overwhelming his opponent off the ledge, on the stage, anywhere he can. Great, great, great get up uh, attack in order to get Brett. But right now, if he keeps, if Final Spoon continues to allow himself to get uh, off the ledge like this, he's just not going to make it any much uh, longer. Okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> I, I was going the bomb to take that. These little timings and that I'll dolphin slash, yep, the LP out, out of shield. shield. It's been something that Fine Spoon has been very, very willing to rely on. He gets tie that bomb yet again. And the parry on the boomerang gets you a down throw, but too much rage to combo. I, I really want to see some of these grounded up tilts come out from uh, uh, from Fine Spoon. Able to get some juggle situation started. That back air may begin something, but a 40% off of just single hits there is an up tilt. Gotta pressure these platforms. Yeah, here we go. We're trying to see some of these up airs going on, but not really able to capitalize on, on any juggling any juggling on, on Brent. But again, like you said, some grounded up airs really do a lot of, of, do wonders for Fine Spoon right now. And also not being off late, off late, off the ledge so often. And oh no, just absolutely just waiting out that, that shield, grabbing out, grabbing them out of the shield into up throw. Fine Spoon is very, very disciplined when trying to take stage, but there on the neutral tech, mm -hmm. Brett will get that grab, get that up throw going on. Uh, not the first time, but definitely takes the sock on the second time. Nair though, Nair out of shield. Oh, and the up smash with the bomb combo too, bouncing him off, trying to space him out, trying to hold this center. Using, we've seen this really solid initial dash to ping around these platforms. Oh, but that's boomerang. The boomerang is just a hound yeah, in these, these boomerang out. plays are absolutely doing amazing for Brett right now, keeping fine people on their toes. And honestly, doing a lot, again, a lot of pressure on them, having to deal with bomb, boomerang, and Link's antics <laughs> in general. And again, all this ledge pressure, just amazing center stage control for Brett, uh, on Brett right now. Yeah, Brett has just, just been so willing to chase as the falling up air. Looking for the back of that time, but covers on this top platform. There's the run right. forward Ooh, air. Oh, not quite yet, though. Has to bomb recover, and it does so successfully. Finest Spoon not in the position to punish. That was huge, because all it would take... Brett did not have his jump. That was the only means of recovery. Mm -hmm. And now they're taken with it and riding. No bomb in hand. Oh, but the upbeat uh, in... Up yep. oh, it's so good. It's so good to watch a, the flip side of how uh, a lot of matchups can go. Because there's so many instances where... Oh, you have to let them press buttons and like punish what you know you could punish afterwards. Like accept the block string and then punish, or accept that you have to wait for a whip and then properly punish. Mm -hmm. Brett, on the flip side of that, was finding a lot of, of was seeing a lot of finest spoons approaches and beating them to the punch with either out raw outranging in game one or in game two, just taking some shots and dealing back their own tenfold. Wow, yeah, definitely agreed. Honestly, Brett played his matchup really well. I'm, I, I am glad. I, I did see definite, a definite improvement in Final Spoon when he did change the Lucina over yeah, the Prana Lucina plant. Good. The Lucina definitely kept up a little bit better with Link and, well, movement-wise and just uh, gameplay tempo-wise. And but, uh, unfortunately, you know, Brett just kind of did Brett. Yeah. Again, he's been improving so much since he's first got into Xeno, you know? I remember when he would just kind of do something over and over again, but I'm glad that he's learning all these new mechanics for Link, these new techs, these new, like, 
combos, it's amazing. I, I love I, I, I love seeing improvement in players. Uh, that I've seen so for so for so long, you know. Right, so, right, right. Brett, you did great, bro. I'm I'm seeing your improvement. Big fan.